And how do you see this game going? Because it's been a lot of Ravens talking up the Niners and a lot of the Niners and Kyle Shanahan specifically talking up the Ravens. Well, look, they're both really good teams. When I talked about the dominating wins or uh, the, the dictating wins or the dangerous wins, these two teams have really a lot of dominating wins. And you could see it. I mean, the, the Ravens have rarely, rarely played from behind. Now, they've lost some games in the fourth quarter, but they've been really good and they find ways to win. And Lamar in this situation is outstanding. Lamar's at 86% against the spread when he plays, and he's a three-point or more dog. I mean, he's very good in this situation. And I think that them being a five-and-a-half-point dog in this game really is the best thing that could ever happen to John Harbaugh because he can just sit there and spend all his day saying, look, nobody thinks we have a chance. We're going out there. They've already given him the title. So I think Armstead's injury is impactful. I think Hargrave's injury is impactful. We saw Arizona run the football on him last week. And if, if Baltimore can run the ball on them, this is going to be a close game. I believe it. And I think it'll certainly help. And look, the one thing about the, the 49ers, people don't realize this, but if you get in the game in the fourth quarter, Kyle Shanahan's 0-38 when he's seven point or more down in the going in the fourth quarter. Whoa. Uh, what 0 is that? 38. 0 and 38? 0 and 38 when he enters the fourth quarter. That feels like If he's down crazy. seven or more points, he's – He's 0 and 38. Now, here's another one. That feels like a I'll crazy stat right yeah. there. Yeah. That feels- right, let me write this one down for you, too. Write this one. Kyle Shanahan is 1 thir- and 31 when trailing by three or more points entering the fourth quarter. He's 0 and 37 when trailing by eight or more points in the fourth quarter. Oh, and how about those two numbers, right? Jeez. 0 and 37 when trailing by that. So. My point in talking about this is that if you're the Ravens, you get this game into the fourth quarter, you, 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 the, the, the numbers are on your side. And, and, and why, the is Niners, that? why is that? Because their offense because seems here's to be so explosive. I understand you can't come from See, behind some styles, but I feel like they they have a style that yeah. is explosive and can play from their, their style is built. It's the same thing with McVay. Their style is built on play action pass run game. So they want to throw the foot. They want to get the lead. They want to play action pass you. When it becomes an all pass game, all of a sudden their pass protections become a little bit dis- not as good, right? So it's a drop. When it becomes a drop back pass game, it's not the same. All of a sudden, all their great weapons that they have have to play a different game. When they can dictate the game to you, when they play positionless football like they do in play action pass element, they're hard Suck to play. Up. But if mm-hmm. the, they get behind. Now it's a different game. And the numbers back it up. I I would often say, uh, Kyle, and I've had this conversation before, you know, at some point, when do you fix You got to be in a drop back pass situation. And yet they're able to do it because they get the lead and they have this unique ability to, to, con- to play from in front and their defense can rush the passer. So yeah. I think Baltimore is a little the same way. Baltimore's just lost leads in the fourth quarter. Ravens, five-point dogs in Santa Clara, California. And uh, the conversation is, should they feel disrespected by the books? That's the same exact point spread. Packers, Panthers this weekend as well. (laughs) uh, How are the Packers five points favorite better than anybody? Has anybody watched the last two (laughs) games of the Packers? That's what Ty Schmidt has said. But you would think maybe Joe Barry understands he's back against Uh, the wall. Mm -hmm. Bryce Young, you know, this is a potential team on the offensive side in the Panthers, and maybe they could get a little spark. And Jordan Love hasn't been terrible, you know? So maybe maybe it's a big one for the Packers. But also – Maybe Chris Tabor, the new interim coach, is yep. dancing in the locker room. Yep. That Panthers team might be hot right now. They won a game in front of 14 people. Yeah, that right. is tough to do. Absolutely. That is not easy. Good that's boy. COVID. They're Good playing boy. COVID football yeah. uh-huh. this past weekend. Got a big-time dub with an interim coach. 